Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make a simple surf casting rig. So what you'll need is a sinker, so I prefer a size 5 or 6 grapple sinker. You'll need two hooks, you'll need a swivel, and you'll also need some line. So at the moment I'm using 60 pound line for this, but you can use less, I just prefer to use this at the moment. And it hasn't failed me. Okay. So onto the tutorial. Okay. So you want to start off with your sinker. Right here. And then your line. This is what I'm using. Uh, you want to... Just... Don't cut out the side. Just like... Leave on this for now. Oh. And then you want to... Put it through the swivel or your sinker. It doesn't really matter. You want you want a, a bit of space to use. Okay, not. You're going to do this. The line comes up here. You're going to wrap it around your finger over the main part of the line three times. Bam. And now you want to get it and put it through the loops and then you just want to, I like to use my teeth and pull that line and then pull the main part of the line at the same time. And then what you get should be a knot like this. It may turn out different, depends on how you pull it, but it should turn out like this. This line has never broke for me so far, and this is what I mainly use. Okay, so now for the next part. Since this will be in the sand, you don't want some space. So I'm going to use about 30 centimeters, I'll say that is, and then just make a loop knot. So you have your line, you want to make a loop in the line pretty big just so you can fit your hooks into it and then you want to make like a normal knots like this but don't don't pull it yet uh, put this bit over here so you got this like so it's joined together and you would get this pull it in so it's like that and you want to pull it out as you do that. So like this, pull, and then you can choose how far you want it, or how big you want the loop. So I want to use one this big. And then just, just give it a pull, just to tighten it. So this is my sinker, there's my loop. So it's got some pretty good space there. Next part you want to do is get your loop and get the, about the same amount of space to make another loop. Loop. That's about good. I'll see about that. Oh, I'm gonna give it a little bit more room. Yeah, I'll see that's better. So you want to do the same thing. You want to loop like this. Put it in through, and then you want to do that. Get the loop and bring it through. Titan. Loop one, loop two, and just pull the line again. Sweet. Okay. So after this loop, you will want to cut it. So I'm going to use the uh, scissors. You can use whatever to cut it. But I'm going to cut it about up here. So I've got all the space to use to make a nice knot onto my swivel. So I'm gonna grab my swivel quickly. Here's my swivel. Okay. So you want to put your line through the swivel, and it's the same knot as we did it on the sinker. So I'm just gonna. 
<gasps> Bring this around here. Yeah? So I've got some room. Okay. So as you pull the knot, it's going to make a bigger distance between the swivel and this loop. So... I'm going to use about the space, and it will get bigger. So what you're going to do, actually I'm going to make, craft some more. Okay. So there's the swivel, and you want to do this again. You want to wrap the line around three times. You can do more, but three is always works for me. So once you've done three times, you want to grab the line like that. Get this bit and put it through. You're going to pull this. Okay, I'm going to use my teeth again. Okay. And just pull. And then after you've done that, you got to pull both of these at the same time. So I like to pull this one with my teeth and pull this one with my hand. Sweet, there's my knot, and you don't want, if you've got a long bit sticking out, you want to cut it off to about there. So you want it looking like that. Okay, so there it is. I've got my swivel, a knot, a knot, and another swivel, ah, uh, sorry, sinker. Okay, now it's time to add on the hooks. So what I'm using at the moment are these black magic hooks, uh, size 5, and uh, they've been really good at the moment. Again, these hooks. Okay, so this is really easy to do. When you get your loop, you're gonna like tie it in the end like this, and then depending on your size of hook, it may not go through this hole but you want to have the back part of the hook like this and get the loop and put it through the back Ooh. bam just put it through and then get your hook put it in and pull it like that so the hook is like that and it shouldn't come off and then repeat the process with the other loop Oh my god, like, yeah. it's uh, really easy to do it with thinner line. It's way easier. Okay, there, got it through. Same process. And done. So, now, now what you're gonna do, you wanna attach a clip onto your main line and tie it on. With uh, You can do the same knot that we did with this. So you get your clip from your main line and you're gonna put it through there and then make sure you clip it up or else you'll lose your sinker. And yeah, that's how you do it. So I hope you guys like this video and um, so this is just really easy to do. And please subscribe and like. See ya.